An inductor is an electronic component that stores energy in the form of a magnetic field, it is a passive device, which means that it does not require an external power source to operate. Inductors are widely used in a variety of electrical and electronic circuits, including power supplies, audio circuits, radio frequency, RF circuits, and many others. The basic construction of an inductor is a coil of wire, typically wrapped around a core made of a magnetic material such as iron, ferrite, or powdered metal. The wire used in an inductor is usually made of copper, although other materials such as aluminium or silver can be used as well. The wire is typically wound around the core in a helical pattern, with the number of turns and the thickness of the wire affecting the inductor's characteristics. When an electric current flows through the wire of an inductor, a magnetic field is created around the coil. The strength of the magnetic field is proportional to the current flowing through the coil, as well as the number of turns in the coil and the core material. This magnetic field stores energy, which can be released back into the circuit when the current is interrupted or changed. The ability of an inductor to store energy in a magnetic field is measured in units of inductance, which is denoted by the symbol L and measured in Henry's H. Inductors can have a wide range of inductance values, from just a few nanohenries to several henries or more. In a circuit, an inductor can be used to filter out unwanted frequencies, to store energy for later use, or to provide a phase shift in a signal. For example, in a power supply circuit, an inductor can be used to smooth out the output voltage and reduce ripple. While in an audio circuit, an inductor can be used as part of a tone control circuit to boost or cut certain frequencies. Inductors can also exhibit some interesting properties that can be useful in certain applications. For example, an inductor can act as a low pass filter, blocking high frequency signals while allowing low frequency signals to pass through. Additionally, when an inductor's magnetic field collapses, it can produce a voltage spike that can be used to trigger other components in a circuit. In summary, inductors are an essential component in many electronic circuits, and their ability to store energy in a magnetic field makes them useful in a variety of applications. Their properties and behavior can be quite complex, but with proper understanding and application, Inductors can be a powerful tool for electronics designers and hobbyists alike. There are many different types of inductors, each with their own unique characteristics and applications. Some of the most common types of inductors include air core inductor. This type of inductor has a core made of air or a non magnetic material, and the coil is typically wound around a cylindrical or toroidal shape. Air core inductors have low inductance values but high Q factor, making them useful in high frequency applications. Iron core inductor, this type of inductor has a core made of a ferromagnetic material such as iron, and the coil is typically wound around the core. Iron core inductors have high inductance values but lower Q factor than air core inductors making them useful in low frequency applications. Ferrite core inductor, this type of inductor has a core made of a ceramic material called ferrite, which has high magnetic permeability. Ferrite core inductors are commonly used in high frequency applications such as RF circuits, due to their high Q factor and ability to handle high power. Toroidal inductor, this type of inductor is a coil wound around a troidal shaped core, which provides a more compact and efficient design compared to other types of inductors. Troidal inductors are commonly used in power supplies, audio circuits, and other applications where space is limited. Multi-layer chip inductor this type of inductor is a surface mount device that consists of multiple layers of conductive material stacked on top of each other. 
multi-layer chip inductors are small and compact, making them ideal for use in portable electronics and other applications where space is limited. Variable inductor, this type of inductor has a movable core or coil that can be adjusted to change the inductance value. Variable inductors are commonly used in tuning circuits for radios and other applications where precise tuning is required. Coupled inductor, this type of inductor consists of two or more coils wound around a common core. Coupled inductors are commonly used in power supplies and other applications where multiple inductors need to be connected in series or parallel. High frequency inductor. This type of inductor is designed to operate at high frequencies, typically in the range of several hundred kilohertz to several megahertz. High frequency inductors are commonly used in switching power supplies, RF circuits, and other high frequency applications. Overall, the type of inductor used in a circuit depends on the specific application and desired performance characteristics including inductance value, Q factor, size, and frequency range. The characteristics of an inductor depend on several factors, including its construction, inductance value, core material, and frequency range. Some of the key characteristics of inductors are as follows. Inductance the inductance of an inductor is a measure of its ability to store energy in a magnetic field, it is measured in Henry's, H, and depends on the number of turns in the coil, the size and shape of the coil, and the core material, Q factor, the Q factor of an inductor is a measure of its efficiency in storing energy, it is calculated by dividing the reactance of the inductor by its resistance. A high Q factor indicates that the inductor is more efficient at storing energy and has less energy loss due to resistance. Frequency range, the frequency range of an inductor refers to the range of frequencies over which it can effectively store and release energy. Some inductors are designed to operate over a wide frequency range, while others are designed for specific frequency ranges. Core material. The core material used in an inductor affects its performance characteristics, including inductance and frequency range. Common core materials include air, iron, ferrite, and powdered metal. Saturation current The saturation current of an inductor is the maximum current that can flow through it before its core becomes magnetically saturated. When a core becomes saturated, the inductance value decreases, and the inductor can behave differently than expected. Self-resonant frequency The self-resonant frequency of an inductor is the frequency at which it exhibits resonant behavior due to the capacitance between its coil turns. This can affect its performance in certain applications, such as high-frequency circuits, DC resistance. The DC resistance of an inductor is the resistance of its wire coil. It can cause energy loss in the form of heat and can affect the efficiency of the inductor. Overall, the characteristics of an inductor play a critical role in determining its performance in a given circuit. Designers must carefully choose the right type of inductor with the appropriate inductance value, Q factor, frequency range and other characteristics to ensure optimal performance. Like any electronic component, inductors have their own set of advantages and disadvantages. Here are some of the main advantages and disadvantages of inductors. Advantages. Filtering. Inductors are commonly used in electronic circuits to filter out unwanted frequencies. They can be used in conjunction with capacitors to form high-pass, low-pass, and band-pass filters. Energy storage. Inductors can store energy in their magnetic fields, which can be useful in applications such as power supplies and transformers. Signal processing. Inductors can be used in signal processing circuits to change the phase or amplitude of a signal. 
magnetic shielding, inductors made from certain materials, such as mu metal, can provide magnetic shielding in electronic circuits, tuning. Variable inductors can be used for tuning circuits in radios and other electronic devices. Disadvantages Size and weight Inductors can be bulky and heavy, especially those made with large cores. This can limit their use in portable devices or other applications where space is limited. Cost Some types of inductors such as those made from specialized materials or with precise specifications, can be expensive. Saturation Inductors can become saturated with magnetic flux when exposed to high currents or magnetic fields. This can cause their inductance value to change or result in other unexpected behavior. Frequency Dependence Inductors have a frequency-dependent response meaning their performance can vary depending on the frequency of the input signal, this can make it challenging to design circuits that work across a wide range of frequencies. Parasitic Capacitance Inductors can have parasitic capacitance between the coil windings, which can affect their performance in high frequency circuits. Overall, inductors are useful components in many electronic circuits, but designers must carefully consider their advantages and disadvantages when selecting the appropriate type for a particular application. Inductors are used in a wide variety of electronic applications, ranging from power supplies to communication systems. Here are some of the most common applications and uses of inductors. Power supplies Inductors are commonly used in power supplies to smooth out the output voltage and filter out high frequency noise. Transformers Inductors can be used as the primary or secondary winding in transformers to transfer energy between circuits with different voltage levels. Signal processing Inductors are used in signal processing circuits to filter out unwanted frequencies or to change the phase or amplitude of a signal. RF circuits, inductors are used in radio frequency, RF, circuits for impedance matching, filtering, and tuning. Oscillators, inductors are used in oscillators to generate stable frequencies. Motors. Inductors are used in motors to provide magnetic fields that generate rotational motion. Lighting Inductors can be used in fluorescent lights and other types of lighting to regulate the current flowing through the bulb. Automotive electronics Inductors are used in automotive electronics for a variety of applications, including power supplies, lighting, and motor control. Medical devices Inductors are used in medical devices, such as pacemakers, for power management and signal processing. Aerospace and defense, inductors are used in a variety of aerospace and defense applications, such as radar systems, navigation equipment, and satellite communications. Overall, Inductors are a versatile electronic component that is used in a wide range of applications. Their ability to store energy in magnetic fields, filter out unwanted frequencies, and transfer energy between circuits makes them an essential component in many electronic systems.